Hey guys, I'm LB, and that looked like an orange for a second there. Yes, this is another post-commentary. And, uh, yeah, this is a clued by Fumbly Bumbly. Easy difficulty, the retractable slash space extendable light bridge returns in this prequel to Epiglottis. Please report any exploits and such in the comments, your feedback is appreciated. I think I have played Epiglottis in the past, and me being the professional I am, I didn't even look it up for this post-commentary. So, let's get started. Jump right into things here. Some glass, we have our exit condition, we just need to cube on that button to leave. And, uh, I'm looking at that. It looks like decoration to me. I would assume that's decoration anyway. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's portal across. Come on, past me. Portal across. What am I saying? Am I talking about Epiglottis or something? Yes, I think I was saying Epiglottis was harder, and this is gonna be easier, probably. Right, so, around this part of the video, I was telling a really good story. And I want to tell it again. Hopefully I can remember most of it, but, uh, yeah. The way I got Portal 2 was kind of interesting. I didn't know about Steam, or Portal 2, or Portal, or anything like that. I didn't know about any of Valve games. I was kind of, uh, didn't know much of anything at all about gaming, to be honest. And for one of my birthdays, uh, I was given a, P a Portal 2 Retail. That is, a physical case with a CD inside that you put in your computer, and when it reads the CD, it launches an installer that installs Steam. Yeah, it installs Steam and activates Portal 2 on your Steam account. It makes you create a Steam account as well. And, uh, yeah, once once you've got that, uh, you just have to download the game from Steam. It, like, it didn't even have the game on the disc, or maybe it did, I don't remember, but, uh, it still made you go through the whole of the hoops with Steam and everything. And, uh, on my Steam account, it says that I've got Steam purchased for free, complimentary, or something like that. It's kind of interesting. But, uh, as a result of that, I ended up playing Portal 2 first, before Portal 1. Oh, and I remember, the reason I was talking about this story was because the music is from Portal 1. Like, I was- when I was standing at the introduction area here, I was trying to figure out what the music was, because I didn't hear anything, and then the music kicked in, I was like, oh yeah, it's from Portal 1. From the scene where- oh, I shouldn't spoil that, because some people might have played Portal 2 without playing Portal 1, just like me. And that's how I got into the story. And also, I'm being really dumb here, I'm- I'm spending a long time, because I'm distracted telling the story, I can't even figure out how to do simple Portal stuff here, and I can't figure out how to get across, and I'm like- I'm like, panicking, what am I doing? But, uh, yeah. Playing Portal 2 first was a rather interesting experience for me. Because it kind of, uh... Oh yeah, yeah, so the other thing I was saying was that, uh... The reason I didn't want to spoil where this music was from... ...was because... ...of the GDC talk that Valve did for Portal 2. Where they're talking about... ...how some playtesters are perfectly happy to just... ...ride into the fire pit and think that was the end of the game and not think there was anything else to it. At the end of Portal 1, you know, when you're sliding into the fire pit, they just slid in, thought the game was over, that was good. And so in Portal 2, they were gonna put in a similar easter egg where you could portal to the moon halfway through the game and die there and it would roll credits, but, uh, so few people found it that they just removed it. But I think it is interesting how some people can accept the ending of a game as being very dark. <laughs> it's a very dark ending to the game if you just slide into the fire pit and die. And, uh, yeah, it's interesting that some people are just perfectly happy to accept that. And I think that's something to be said, that we have a few too many happy endings in our culture. This isn't something I said in the original video, by the way, but I'm just realizing it now. Right, so now we're finally on the other side, because, uh, I stopped being stupid and realized that I could just portal across like a normal person. And, uh, I'm looking at this. That looks like Swashbuckle to me. You know, the- the Demon Arisen map where you paint blue gel everywhere? And, uh... Yeah, so this is probably where we're gonna need a cube there, that's- I couldn't figure out what the portals behind the glass are for. Like, I, I don't think I ever used them, actually. But, uh, yeah, the reason... I looked at this and thought of Swashbuckle was because Demon Arisen, or whoever introduced me to Fumbly Bumbly, they put this idea in my head. They said that there was a rumor that Fumbly Bumbly might actually be somebody else in the Portal community that we already know, and that we're just not sure who it is. And, uh, I'm not sure why they put this seed in my head, but ever since they've said that, I've been looking for clues to try and figure out if we can find out who Fumbly Bumbly is. For, for all I know, Fumbly Bumbly could just be another person. They don't actually have to have another secret identity or anything, they don't have to be like a, a secret alternate account. But I've always been looking out for this idea in my head. Anyway, we're going across here with this light bridge. 
And, uh, we're gonna do this a few times, because I really have no idea what I'm doing to this map. <laughs> that- that whole story at the beginning just completely threw me for a loop. But, uh, now that portal surface there has grating on it. And we've got back over here. And that throws a wrench in the works, because I'm gonna sit here and think for a while about how to get this cube anywhere at all. Because I'm thinking about all sorts of complex things, like there's the portal surfaces up on the sky there, and I'm thinking that we need to find a way to, like, use the floor portals to get momentum to land up on top of the light bridge or something. And, uh, it turns out to be much, much simpler than that, but you know me. I'm the overcomplicator. So while I'm thinking of all these overcomplicated solutions, this is just taking forever. We're just going around in circles, and nothing much is happening. So that's gonna be the next several minutes of the video, until I figured out the much, much simpler solution staring me in the face. So. Let me think about this. I think when I played Portal 2, it was back when I didn't really record games at all. I think my sister actually watched me play it. I think that was back when... I was still... We still had a family computer that we all had to share. It was one computer that my entire family had to share. And so, like, my sister would come watch me play games. We, I didn't have headphones then, so everybody in everywhere in the whole house could hear whatever we were doing on the computer. And... Yeah, my sister watched me play Portal 2 a bunch. She watched me play Portal 1, I think. She also watched me play Psychonauts. She- There's also some other games that I was pretty sure she never saw me play, but it turns out she definitely remembers seeing me play the games, so... We had that computer for a lot longer than I thought. But yeah, now I'm looking at this floor portal surface, wondering if there's anything to do with it. And, uh... No, because as soon as you take the cube off the button, it's just- It's no longer a floor portal surface. Oh yeah, so somebody in our live studio audience says that they found out about Steam and Portal 2 on Steam and begged their mother to let them buy it. They found out there's a level editor and fell in for the s fell in love for the second time. Yeah, Portal 2's been pretty cool for a lot of people. There's a whole community, as you all know, you're obviously part of the Portal 2 community. Unless you're not, and then now you know there's a Portal 2 community. We all hang out on Nox Discord, so if you ever go over to Nox Skitney's channel and look in one of his video descriptions, uh, you'll see a link, I think. Actually, they've had to change the link a bunch. There's, a uh, there's been some trolls that have been trolling the community. We've had to ban them a bunch. I don't know where the latest link is, but I always assume it's in Nox, uh, descriptions. Yeah, we have- we have a jolly good time in the Nox Discord. Talking about Portal 2 and other random things. Mostly Portal 2 and Valve stuff. And, uh other random things. It's basically like a forum, but it's a chat. Uh, it's actually the only Discord that I use. I actually had a Discord account that I created for test purposes a while back, but, uh, I actually ended up reusing it to join Nox Discord. Oh yeah, so the other- the, the person from our live studio audience, they just said... Wait, hang on. Oh, I only- I read the second half instead of the first half. Okay. Their Portal story is similar, they had an Xbox 360 and they were given Portal 2 for Christmas. They hadn't played Portal yet, so they fell in love with the puzzle story and characters, and then they found out about it being on Steam with a level editor. So yeah, that's the other thing I've heard from people, is that they find out that Portal 2, uh, they get it on, like, another console first. I've actually seen a lot of people who got it on Xbox 360, interestingly enough. As you can see in this video here, we are clearly still running around in circles, running in circles. And now I'm just now noticing this button. Well, actually, I didn't just now notice it, but I'm trying to figure out how to get the cube on it, or if I just need to stand on it myself. Yeah. <laughs> Past me was pretty stuck overcomplicating this puzzle. My commentary wasn't too interesting, to be honest. I was just lots of running around saying, please forgive me, I'm being stupid, stuff like that. This is much more interesting, talking about people's portals or passes or whatever. By the way, post a comment on the video, and, uh, tell us about your story with Portal. How did you get introduced to the Portal series? Did you play Portal 2 first? Did you play Portal 1 first? Did you get it on Xbox 360 or on Steam? Did somebody give it to you as a gift or did you buy it? I'd be interested to know. It's a pretty cool game, and I like to hear people's stories for how they got into it. Right, so I think I might be able to slowly figure this out in a moment here. Maybe. Like, I've got my portals like that, right? 
I'm trying to decide which portal to place. Obviously we don't want to place the black portal, because the green portal just leads to grating. Don't want to use the great glitch, so I place that one. And then I realize, oh yeah, I can just walk across this, and then when I'm in the middle, I can move the black portal. Duh. Really, really obvious, simple solution. And I was looking for a much, much more complicated solution. So let's just get into position, and blam! Caught the cube. Whew. Now we can put the cube there. And, uh, at this point, I'm thinking, what's the next step? What do we do next? What do I have to do next? And I'm, like, looking around, trying to figure out what I have to do next. And, uh... Turns out it's much simpler than that. Once again, I'm overcomplicating the map when I'm done. I've literally completed the map, I just need to go to the exit. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out how do I use the floor here, or where do I put my portals. But no, it turns out you just plop a portal there, you go respawn the cube, and you're done. <laughs> I was expecting the map to be much more complicated, but obviously, all that complicated stuff went into Epiglottis instead. So yeah, let's respawn the cube and, uh, take it to the exit. Oh wow, that's weird the way I caught it. Forgot about that. Yeah, so let's go on head through. Come on past me! Come on past me, I already- I already covered this. Yeah, now past me is talking about what I just said. <laughs> come on. Come on past me. Let's go. Let's go. To the exit. Speed it up. Run faster. Okay, you're just gonna take the slow route? Fine. <laughs> Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!